Hi everyone, a quick video on how to avoid a certain item out of stock. The first advice is to you guys and girls out there, make sure you use, if you're dropshipping in the UK, make sure you use a dropshipping software that actually tracks all your suppliers in the UK. Like me, do not use, uh, and I'll show you this software, don't use DSM tools to do your dropshipping because DSM tool mainly tracks Amazon products. So if I go to, uh, let me show you. Now here we are, this is my account. Now as you can see, DSM tool, right? And all of the items I have in on this, in, in here, is obviously, um, is Amazon products, okay? So all of them are Amazon products. And I don't mind showing you guys and girls what I'm selling on dropshipping. You know, I don't hide anything. So most of these products are Amazon based products, okay? So I have about, I don't know how many, 50? Yeah, it's about uh, 42 items from Amazon at the moment, okay? And I do have other supplies like Argos, Costco, um, and Domu and a few others. So the mistake is this. If you are going to dropship in the UK, make sure your software is compatible with UK's online shopping platforms, okay? And don't like me, do those stupid things and start DSM tool. I I had a chat with DSM tool and they are slowly working on the UK uh, platform. So we wait and see when they update their system and they will enroll the UK's um, shops like uh, Asda, Tesco's, that kind of thing, you know, um, Costco's and Argos and all that. Right. So till then we have to put up with this. But now a lot of the times you have to do manually the other platform okay other shops so the mistake i've done recently and i'm going to go through them and to show you should avoid it if you if you're using dsm tool in the uk make sure if you do use other platform like uh you know other shops like argos costco um what's the other one asda uh, PC world, whatever you're using, and you manually do. Make sure every day you check your item. Is they still available? Are they still stocked on those? Because DSM tool is not going to keep a track on your the other listings. Okay, so this was the mistake I've done. Recently, I listed an item from Costco. Okay, so I'm giving you the name of the company, Costco, and the item was this. Halloween witch hanging decorative hand that you put outside your door. Look, I put that for $34.95, okay? And I did sell it. But I did not physically track is that item still available on Costco's. So I sold this item. Behold, went straight into Costco's uh, online thing, you know, the shop. And wow, wow, what a ha, what's happening here? The items no longer available because they're sold out. Oh, fantastic. So I was panicking. Now, what do I do? Now, I, either I refund the, the buyer or I'm going to get strike. eBay will put a strike on me because of, if I use the term items broken or, or no longer available, they're going to put a strike on me. But the other alternative is to put the buyer ask for cancel or uh, to cancel the transaction. And I feel really, really bad letting the buyer down on this one, right? So what did I do? I went straight into eBay, so, so eBay again, and looked for this item, right? So I looked for this item, right? And I did find a buyer, a seller, sorry, a seller selling the same item. So I decided to purchase this item, put an order and get him to do the drop shipping for my customer. And he was charging 30 pounds something and I, uh, I got 34 something, right? So although I would be even by paying eBay fee and all that malarkey going on there, but then as soon as I placed an order, I 
put the other person's address to be sent. Behold, uh, a day later, I get this email from the other buyer telling me, other seller telling me, oh, I'm so sorry, they're out of stock, which I knew that. Because the same guy were, they were selling, these guys are selling from, also from probably Costco's. And so they realized, they went to Costco's, they realized, oh, it's a mistake. They're out of stock. So they couldn't even send, send my order. So the, what they have done, they've refunded the money to back to me. And I basically, what I did, I instantly refound my customer telling, uh, just come out with excuse, sell I want to, wanted to cancel the transaction. So eBay is okay with that. All right. But I feel very bad letting this customer down. Okay. But here I found another listing. Some other guys are selling it. He sold two of those. But he will have a shock when somebody orders this item and he goes to Costco to order it. He'll find he's out of stock. So he will have a shock of his life. So what I'm saying to everybody out there, make sure if you are physically um, drop shipping items, like not using tracking system, not using other software, Make sure every time you go into the site and check if there's available. If you think this item chance of is going to go out, simply do not list it. Simple as that. Don't list it. Don't take the chance. Okay? Because you're going to let people down. And, you know, the, it's really annoying. I feel really bad letting somebody down. So in my listing, look, there's there's a listing here. That is from Costco. That's from Costco also. That's from Argos. So I'm telling you all this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm giving you advice where you can get this up. But make sure you always, always, always go and check your suppliers. They still have it. They, they have it on stock. Don't rely because automated machine, look, here, this one, DSM tools, right? I know all this stuff. I know them stuff there because he's tracking me. He's telling me all this stuff. Right. But I'm considering if I'm going to do this big time, then I have to start using UK-based software rather than American-based software. Okay? So, well, that's a good tips for everyone who anyone who's starting out on dropshipping, make sure you have every aspect. You look at all the aspect, you look at all the angles before you start doing dropshipping. Make sure, uh, you know, what if, because you don't, you don't want to let anybody down. The worst feeling is letting a customer down and you have to lie just to cover your backside. You know, I feel really bad when I had to tell this customer I shouldn't have to be doing that. But then I made a mistake of listing this damn thing in the first place. You know, so, ladies and gentlemen, if you are doing dropshipping, if you're thinking of starting, these are pitfall. And all this series of videos, I will tell you what I'm going through. And it's not, dropshipping is not punky dory. Believe me, any business you'll have ups and downs and you'll have to learn from this. I've learned a mistake already on this. So I'm rethinking, how am I going to overcome this? And the only way I have to look at other software, UK based software till DSM tool comes out with UK, they include UK uh, big, big companies, then I'll have to go back to DSM tool. But till then, because the only reason I use DSM tool is I like their listings. You know, when you list a product on DSM tool, it's such a beautifully look. There's a listing here for DSM tool. Okay, it's a Halloween costume. Okay, and you can get that in uh, this. This is an Amazon product, right? So you know it's Amazon. I showed you it's damn Amazon. I don't need to hide anything. See, um, okay, so now if you look at it, if you look at it, it's crisp, clean, um, it gives you all the, uh, the description is clean and everything is fine. There's no punky dory. Is if you physically entered all this information. 
So that's the thing I love about DSM tool is if if I physically has I've typed in all this, it looks like look. That's why I use DSM tool, right? I've seen other ones are available. There's one. Um, there are a few tools you can look at. I'll probably go through them in another video to help you out. So that's the reason I'm using the DSM tool. It's nothing because they give you 50 listing free. No, 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 no. And if I go by thinking, oh, I'm going to get 50 listing free, that's not the way to do business. But because I like the layout and I like, it's so simple. And I'll do a video on how to import, find a product, import it, and show you another thing. So, so this was this video is all about how to avoid physically when you enter or do a listing, manual listing. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. I hope you, I hope these videos have given you a bit of info. If if you think they they are giving you a bit of info or you're getting something out of it, please, please show your appreciation by uh, clicking like, subscribe, and comment button. Yeah, that, that would be really, really fantastic, you know. And, you know, I'm hoping to grow this channel. Now, with your help, I can grow it. Without your help, I, am, I have no chance of growing this channel, have I? So I need your help as much as I can. And I'm running... Uh, a raffle prize every month go and check it out uh, there's a video there I've just done my first raffle prize um, it's already been announced and the prize was a blender and a vegetable cutter and another thing so somebody a gentleman who won is already claimed and I've already sent him the prize and I'm doing another prize now shortly I'll announce it for end of October so every month I'll do two raffle prize well I do physically give out the prize I promise and this is only based to the people living in the UK slowly I will roll it out to the um, worldwide sort of thing where I'm just having a chat with Amazon how do I get shift those product from Amazon to worldwide to do a raffle sort of thing okay so look out for that and please make sure you click you know do all the good stuff you know and go check out other channels i have and another thing i always leave a link if you do buy any products need for your business please consider my affiliated links you know bottom of any of videos if you buying product you'd be happier you know, I would really, really appreciate it if you do go through my links, which would be a great um, wonderful for me if you, uh, you know, a lot of the time we do need stuff for our businesses and things, the personal life. And if you do use, go through my links, you know, and I get a bit of commission, I, you know, I, I will really appreciate it because that way I can buy myself a cup of coffee or tea when I go to Kabusal in the winter time and because literally I am giving you on the plate that other dropshipper would not tell you I will make sure I will promise I'll give you the things I'm selling I will tell you where to get it and you sell it I don't mind absolutely don't mind at all if you can make money i'll be so happy if i see if somebody tells me oh you took my advice my thing and you grew your channel i'll be so so happy for you believe me i'll be really really happy most of the gurus out there that they do not tell you the truth they will hide their trading name they'll hide the this product there's no need to hide anything you know, if you're smart enough, you can always work it out where they're getting it from. And the profit margin is not huge. Look, look at this. See these profit margin? Do you think they, they're worth it? Do you really think they're worth all the hassle you have to go through? 
to earn a couple of quids. Um, there, two pound, three pound profit. It's, it's very rare you'll make 11, 12 quid, 13 quid, 14 quid. Very, very rare. Right? So is it worth it to hide all this? No. So please watch out for further videos. And once again, thank you so much for watching this one and all of my other videos. Thank you. I really, really appreciate for your feedback. Until the next video, thank you.